Right, I'm just I'm gonna make in a box, so I just thought I will share with you how I'm doing it. Now I've cut these at uh let me just do it this way. <sighs> by 10 centimetres, so I've cut two that size. And then I've done two at 10 and a half centimetres by 14 and a half. And the reason why I've done that is it's a four by four square. And as I put that onto there, they, you know, those two will fit. But then I'll need another one that goes over to cover this and attach to it. So it, the wider ones will do that and it will fit like a box. Now I'm going to put a f bottom section on it, um, like a foot, you know, that's going to stand on the side like that. But this is going to be cut out. So what I've done is I've done the width of the ruler. I've then measured a centimetre and I've cut. Well, I, I use this, just that. Measured in two centimetres, pop that in line with that and then drew round it so I get that curvature there and did the same on that side as well. So I'm going to cut that out and I've just got one more to do. That's cut, that's cut, that's cut. Now don't forget these must be as wide as those as well. So you want two large and two smaller. This is the one I've got left to cut. And I'm, uh, I'll take these bits out in a minute. Like that. Now, I do need to find just my big scissors, see if I can get these to go. So I'm just going to take that and follow the contour round. And that should take that off like that. I have to do the same on this side. Like that. And I end up with the gap underneath. I'm not worried about these bits, we'll sort those out. And all four need to be done like that. So, there's the piece. That one, that's the larger one. There we go. So they'll it'll stand like that. I'll have a ridge and I'll be able to decorate this and add bits and pieces on it as well. So I'm thrilled with those. That's exactly what I'm after. There's all my pieces. And I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to put a border on the top, but I don't want an inch, you know, uh, the width of the ruler. So what I'm going to do is just measure... Um, a smaller one. I'm just going to do two centimetres around the rim. All right, oops, that's not straight. I need the straight end. And then two centimetres from there, that gives me uh, enough to cut it in half, I think. I think that's all I used is half of one of these to make both pieces. And then, like I say, I just have to make sure that they are the same width as the board. So that's all I do. Just turn it around like that. That should be the same. Yep. So that's for that piece. This one's slightly smaller, that's fine. I'm just going to cut it. And I need two pieces the same. And that's more or less what I need. There we go. 
So that gives me all the pieces I need to do my box. Right, I've put the uh, box together, so all I have to do now is to add on these leg. I uh, need to get the right one because it's two longer than the other. We think, and <laughs> there should be. That's it. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use it there, like that, just to add them on there. Like that. There. See how it's got its own little feet? And then, like I said, to do the structure strips, we can use these little cards because they're just small pieces that we need to cut. We fold that in half. Just take the corner bit off. Take the bone folder. And then we basically just cover the corner like that. And we can cut any excess off. And that's really supporting that then. Like that. Once it's covered, we're going to put paste on it. So once it's covered, it's fine. See? and then when we put the paste on it's going to cover all of that but it'll be sturdy right so that's our box um, now what I wanted to do was to put a loop in here cut a piece out and I should have done that beforehand but I didn't sorry I'm just going to have a drink um, so I'm not sure if I can do that now Although, no, we'll keep as is. We'll keep as is. That's nice and sturdy. I've got the four strips for the top. To go here. I'm going to move them down a little bit, actually. I'm just going to line that up. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I don't think I will put structure strips on that bit. I think I'll just fill it in with the paste. But yeah, that's going to be a nice, strong, sturdy box. Um, I don't know. What do we want to hold in it? Paintbrushes, I would imagine. <laughs> but yeah, we don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Just making sure that this section here
uh, is glued in but the paint the paste will sort that out anyway so never worry about anything if you're going to cover it in paste and I'm going to dabble it all on all over so I'm going to need my brush yeah okay so that's the next thing to do so I've got the structure paste somewhere so I'm going to use stiff brush and I'm using this is Peebo studio Ugh! acrylic Right, if ever you get a lid you can't open, get a pair of scissors and just ease it off because often when they don't use when you don't use them for a while, they've dried. And the lids stay on. So just loosen them up. That's it, and then we'll open. As you can see. And this is definitely modelling paste. Uh. Now, on one side of it, I'm going to put a picture. So, I'm going to smooth this side out. Like that. And then once the picture's on, we can stipple around it. But, uh, I do want a picture on it. So, I'm going to leave that side as is. <laughs> 